I'm sorry to say that I'm not appearing today with you to announce that there's going to be a Friends movie. Uh-huh. Actually, I'm here to let you know that in September of 2018, I was diagnosed with uh, advanced prostate cancer, which had spread to my bones. Here you go. For 10 seasons on the hit show Friends, James Michael Tyler played Gunther, the sarcastic manager of Central Perk, Coffee House, and Hangout for the six main characters. Hey, Gunther, have you, uh, have you seen Chandler? I thought you were Chandler. <laughs> but, um, what if he's over there? When you were part of that reunion a few weeks ago and you appeared via Zoom, what were you feeling in, in, in that moment? You know, I didn't want to be like, oh, and by the way, Gunther has cancer. You know what I mean? Do the cast members know? Uh, yes, at this point, I'm sure. David Schwimmer has corresponded with me via Instagram. The producers are aware. They've been aware for a long time. Michael's prostate cancer was discovered during a routine physical almost three years ago when he was 56. His doctor had added a PSA test to his blood work, his first. The PSA, or prostate-specific antigen test, is the gold standard for screening for prostate cancer. It's recommended at 40 for African-American men and men with a family history of cancer, and age 45 for all others. It turns out I have prostate cancer. Good news is we caught it early. The PSA Uh, test is also how our own Al Roker first discovered his prostate cancer diagnosis last November. A normal PSA number is around one. Michael's was 654. What's the prognosis? Well, for my uh, specific prognosis, it's, of course, a stage four uh, late stage um, cancer. So eventually, you know, it's going to probably get me. Since his diagnosis, Michael had been treated with hormone therapy, which had him feeling well enough to visit us at the Today Show in 2019. Gunther is here, James, Michael, Tyler. When you were in the studio for the, for the reunion, how were you feeling then? I was feeling fine, honestly. I, I had no symptoms. During the pandemic, Michael's cancer mutated, causing fractures in his bones and tumors up and down his spine. He can no longer walk. What would you have done differently, Michael? Well, I would have listened to my wonderful wife, (laughs) who has been my absolute strength throughout all of this. I would have gone in earlier and, uh, you know, would have been hopefully called earlier. Next time you go in for just a basic exam or your yearly checkup, please ask your doctor for a PSA test. Caught early, 99% treatable. Dr. Matthew Reddick, Michael's oncologist at UCLA, agrees early detection is key. With prostate cancer, it's a little bit different than the other cancers in that when it is diagnosed early, it's almost always cured. When it's diagnosed late, it's rarely, if ever, cured. Michael, you spent so many years making us smile and and making us laugh, and that is always going to be part of your legacy. And now uh, you can add saving lives to that legacy as well. I certainly hope so, Craig. My goal this past year was to see my 59th birthday. I did that. My goal now is to help save at least one life. And he will. Mm -hmm. This morning, he will. Uh, We want to wish Michael the very best. He and his family will obviously be in our thoughts and prayers, and we encourage everyone to learn more about the prostate cancer screening recommendations from the Prostate Cancer Foundation. Michael's become very active with the Prostate Cancer Foundation, and you can find out uh, a little bit more about that foundation at today.com. He just wishes he'd gone in earlier. He said he never had any symptom or any reason to think he needed the screening, but that's that's what people should take away, even if you don't think you need it. And another takeaway, cautionary tale, he found out after he was diagnosed that his brother had had prostate cancer oh, okay. and just, did, you know, it didn't never mention it. Wow. Sooner. You I don't understand. It's an easy blood test. Why it's not something what? that's done more routinely. Well, People are getting the word out now. Yeah. 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 Talk about your family history with yeah. all cancers. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Greg.